Welcome to It Takes Two. I'm Blair. I'm Chris. And today we'll be talking about Too Hot to Handle, Season 6, Episode 6. Listen, I need y'all to subscribe, like, share, comment, all the above. You ready, Blair? Yes. Walk me through this. So it is the next morning. Mm -hmm. Lucy says that she has had no cuddles last night. But she did have a dream that two new girls entered and Charlie wanted to get to know them. Um, it's not a dream. It's how the show goes, Lucy. Joel said it sounds like a vision, not a dream. Okay. <laughs> but Joel also has the information from Flavia about how Charlie really feels about Catherine. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Charlie has made his decision. Mm-hmm. He wants Catherine over Lucy. Of course. Louis says that Catherine didn't touch him at all last night. Um, he knows that they're trying to build something deeper, though. Hmm. Huh. Lana says, today we are going to be honest and respectful with ourselves and the people that we are romantically involved with. Okay. Bree is hurt still by Damari, um, but it's going to take a lot for him to get her back. Hey, Bree, why don't you just get another guy? Yeah, and my thing is, like, Chris is right there. Like, you're attracted to Chris. Like, why not Chris? And I can understand if you had a connection with Damari mm-hmm. already. But my thing is, like... I'm the type to say what I mean, mean what I say. Why are you worried about him getting you back and doing all this work when you said you didn't want him? You said don't see me. I thought bed. you didn't want him. Exactly. <laughs> so I guess, you know, whatever. Lucy usually finds it difficult to trust guys, but with Charlie, she has been letting her walls down. I haven't seen you let your walls down, Lucy. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. And I'm not even talking about the physicality part of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, it. It looks like y'all, it looked like you just happy to be liked. Mm-hmm. basically yeah Catherine tells valentina and flavia that charlie wants to share a bed with her tonight mm. and they're going to have their conversations with louis and lucy today okay so charlie grabs lucy he tells her that she's a great person Uh-oh. on paper there were so many matches and he thinks that they've been having some great cuddles mm-hmm. and they've been doing things the right way mm. However, he hasn't felt the energy to commit himself to her. He's been enjoying getting to know her, but he is feeling disconnected from her. Well, she appreciates the honesty and says that he's going to have to do what he's got to do. They hug it out, and it seems to be that they end on good terms. I love how whenever you break up with someone, you say that you are a great person. There's never a person I broke up with that I told them that they're a great person. Me neither. Because I would love to be with a great person. <laughs> right. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Every person I broke up with, I never started off with, you're a great person, and it's just not working. Yeah. I, I'm, no. Right? right. So whenever you get that, you're a great person, but mm-hmm. I don't want to be with a great person. You get what I'm saying? That's basically the speech he gave her and things like that. He basically was omitting some information of why he was leaving her. A huge part. You get what I'm saying? (laughs) A whole person part. Well, Catherine pulls Louis to the side. Okay. Catherine feels that she needs to be honest and true to herself. She's been loving getting to know Louis, but she's been scared that they can't get deeper. Well, you have contributed to y'all not getting deeper, but I digress. Yes, she says that she's tried this, but she doesn't think it can get, like we said, deeper. Uh, She's also been thinking about Charlie. I think Catherine is the type of person that just like new shiny things. Yeah. And things like that. There's nothing about her that says deep. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and then Louis says that he understands and they hug it out. Okay. So I would say I think Catherine was a bit more honest with Louis than Charlie was with Lucy. Okay. So Lucy goes to um, Gianna and Bree. Okay. And she starts crying immediately and tells them basically Charlie broke up with me. Mm-hmm. Louis tells Joao and Damari that Catherine is interested in Charlie. mm and Joao said, well, Charlie wasn't breaking any rules with Lucy because maybe he wasn't sure if he liked her enough. Mm. Charlie and Catherine are chilling in the bathroom, just talking about how their chats went. Charlie said that his chat with Lucy was more about their connection. and mm-hmm. He really didn't touch on Catherine. Mm-hmm. So Lucy, Bree and Gianna walk in on the guys talking and Louis tells Lucy you know, Catherine told me she wanted to get to know Charlie. Mm. So Lucy starts crying. She says it felt like a punch in the gut because Charlie didn't mention Catherine at all. Mm -hmm. And Joao, Joao was trying to console her, but she's hurt because she felt that she really let her guard down. Okay. Again, I didn't see it, but maybe it's something that she felt like she was doing. Maybe Louis says that he doesn't want to share a bed with Chris. Then he starts flirting with Gianna. Mm. <laughs> he was like, you will not find me sharing a bed with Chris. Mm-hmm. Bree said that Louis should just sleep in Gianna's bed. At the end of the day, I find it very funny that Lucy started crying immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what she thought it was mm-hmm. in the sense of y'all is, y'all is on this show to build connections. And for someone to literally 
give up a hot body next to them mm. why wouldn't you put the pieces together that is somebody else you would think someone would think that but at the same time there's a lot of single people on, on this retreat which is kind of odd to see so i was I could, thinking i could imagine her probably thinking like okay maybe just we just don't have a vibe like the other three yeah. people who were here <laughs> you yeah, know yeah but my thing is like yeah. why don't we have a vibe yeah like that's like like that's that's one thing at least with the other people they didn't start off with a vibe and then didn't have a vibe mm -hmm. we started off with a vibe and now you're saying in the middle of my vibe we don't have a vibe now i have to think why are we not vibing right <laughs> so <laughs> i was the vibe killer so i'm thinking why didn't she think it's somebody else yeah or am i that bad that he'd rather be single mm -hmm. and like besides having a hot body next to them so i find it very suspicious that she did not think that it was somebody else um but she cried immediately and i ain't feel bad for her but i will also think that Catherine and louis seem pretty locked in that is so true. i could imagine that with her not knowing that Catherine was breaking things off with louis mm -hmm. she's like well, clearly i know him and Catherine had a thing but it can't be Catherine because her and louis spent forty k thousand dollars forty thousand mm -hmm. dollars it can't be her so she could she could be crying <laughs> about the money too yeah she could be like oh my goodness he's with the whore <laughs> you know what I'm saying? and then and then she's leaving the uh she's leaving the villa broke maybe maybe well damari and brie have another talk yeah he wants to reestablish things and share a bed he thinks that that will help with rebuilding their connection mm -hmm. brie says no damari uh thinks that it might turn into a yes here's the thing about it i hate men like this i ain't gonna hold you mm -hmm. and i'm not like the manly man or or like the man the, i'm not the manliest man in the world and things of that nature but you ain't gonna tell me no three times in my face and i'm still gonna be coming to you talk about can i <laughs> would you please no but see no. that's also why certain ladies like brie rub me the wrong way too because you're saying no hoping that he gets your no to turn to a yes nah, and i'm just like we I both we both not talking clearly to each other I like we're both literally lying to each other i ain't that type of person listen to the lord so. the lord put me with somebody perfect because at the end of the day we don't play those type of games no blair tell me no one time i promise i won't act again and the no was a no <laughs> it's not a no that you should turn it you make me angry nope. trying to turn my no to nope. a yes then it's a hell no i won't okay? <laughs> i won't act again i'm telling you well brie doesn't think that damari understands the depth of the situation mm -hmm. she's been let down a million times by men she sees he's trying to fix it but in this moment it's not fixable first of all don't come to this villa talk about you've been let down by a million men please don't bring your trauma <laughs> okay. exactly damari didn't do nothing to uh, you. you even when he kissed that girl he didn't do nothing he to didn't you. do nothing to you mm -hmm. so to put me on the same level as men that you've been in relationships with or been in more situations listen we only here for two weeks mm -hmm. so you telling me within a two-week span the damage that i did to you equates to the level of damage that the men outside this village did to you be. it's impossible can't be so leave your trauma outside the door sister mm. okay so damari and chris talk damari had um well they just kind of they're like playing some type of game i think it was like chess or whatever like that yeah and just kind of chopping it up over that damari talks about how he had um issues with forgiving his mom he doesn't like to be in somebody's story to where that person doesn't forgive him i think that's along the lines of what he was trying to say mm -hmm. because he had issues with forgiving his mom chris also had trouble forgiving his mom for certain things that he she did while he was growing up mm -hmm. um so you know they kind of bonded and connected over that but thinking back to brie damari still doesn't know the steps he needs to do in order to fix things listen here i find it very interesting hey dude you hate your mama mm. i hate my mama too mm. let's be friends okay <laughs> listen here hopefully y'all can fix the things with your mamas man but yeah go ahead so there is a workshop for the guys mm -hmm. uh, and they are going to be talking about respect okay so they actually enter or re-enter their mother's wombs i don't respect this they have headphones on to where they can hear um their mother's heartbeat mm -hmm. they invited um well the show invited their moms into the experience so everyone has a recording from each of their moms yeah and each mom offers either a piece of advice or a loving word to their sons mm -hmm. some guys got the mom saying like hey think before you just kind of play with girls hearts some guys got words of you know i love you you know you're a great person um keep being the person that you are mm -hmm. um so a lot of encouraging words and, and guidance from the moms yeah so charlie can now see how he left lucy in a vulnerable position and he wants her to know that he's sorry okay damari knows that he let brie down and caused her to lose a lot of trust in him he was sitting there in that confessional crying mm -hmm. and i ain't gonna hold you no grown man should be in a woman's womb 
Mm. Whatever this exercise was supposed to be at this workstation and things of that nature, I ain't with it. You mm. tell me get in the womb, I'm not going to get in the womb. I'm a grown man. Yeah. Right? A womb is for children. Yeah. Don't baby me. Okay. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> if you got a message or a voice message from my mama that you want to tell me, just play it for me. I ain't gotta be in this little thing. I know I'm not I'm not what is the thing that, that what is the thing that don't like to be in tight spaces? Claustrophobic. I'm not that. Okay. I'm not I, I'm not that, but at the same time I'm not gonna play baby. Right. I'm a grown man. So for him to actually wear the weight, talking about uh what is my man name? Damari. Damari, for him mm-hmm. to wear the weight of what he did to Bree. I'm like, this is too much for me. I'm sorry. This yeah. is it's too too hot to handle for me. <laughs> okay, because I'm like, you did not whatever damage that your mother said you did and things of that nature. You did not do that to that girl. Mm-hmm. And and like for them to play it up in, in this dramatic form and the things like that. The only one that I can see that was actually a good speech was probably Chris, mm. right? Because he said I ain't really been with my mom like that. And the mother said basically, you was never a disappointment to me. You never disappointed me ever. I love you. And and like I love the person that you are. I like that. Yeah. But not to use this whole little uh, five, six episode experience for me to overlook how I am as a man mm-hmm. in, in totality. I thought they played it up a little too much, but that's just my opinion. Right. And with Chris, like he did focus in on how he has walls built up. Mm-hmm. And a lot of that comes from his relationship with his mom. That makes sense. And so he knows that he needs to work on that relationship in order to help build those, help those walls come down to open up his life for genuine love. That makes sense. So... Joao, Damari, and Chris talk. Mm -hmm. Damari realizes honesty is going to take you very far. He wants to connect with Brie on a deeper level. And he says the green light will help too. So apparently, they were gifted watches that will give them a green light to have a physical connection after they connect emotionally. With no fine. Right. right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Charlie talks to Catherine and tells her that he really wants to jump on her. No, wait a minute now. <laughs> wait a minute now, Charlie. You are showing. You are showing yourself. Listen here. A tiger can't change his stripes. Mm-hmm. A zebra can't change his stripes. It can't hide it at all. Yeah. You get what I'm saying, Charlie? What? What? What is this deeper level in this person that you saw in the mirror and things of that nature? Only thing you've been talking about is how you want to jump her bones. Yeah. And Kathleen just did laughing. <laughs> jump on me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I digress. So Louis thinks that he could have a connection with Gianna mm-hmm. and says that they have something that they might could b- possibly build towards. Mm-hmm. And he's also had moments to where he wanted to kiss her. Okay. He's hugging on her. He's telling her he's tempted to kiss her. Okay. Same same game plan. Right. So we get to Damari and Bree. Damari says that he's failed in ways mm. and he apologizes and he understands how he was wrong, not just because he hurt her, but because his action was wrong. Mm-hmm. Bree says, well, how can I trust you won't do what you've done in the past? Okay. Damari says that he didn't think of her when it came to Valentina and she deserves better. He is going to work to show that she can trust him and he values how she feels. Okay. So moving on to Charlie and Catherine. Mm-hmm. Charlie thinks Catherine is the woman he needs after hearing his mom talk. They want to kiss. They're trying to get close enough to kiss, but they are not getting the green light. I wonder why. Lucy is dreading seeing Catherine and Charlie in bed. Well, girl is coming. Oh, yeah. It's going to happen. Damari tells Bree that he wants this connection. Mm-hmm. Bree is having a hard time trusting him. Damari opens up and says his older brother has a family, a wife, and that is something he wants. But the life that he's living now is not going to lead him there. Mm-hmm. And Bree gets flattered and says, so you think I'm a wife? So Hmm. then there's lots of laughs and smiles. She appreciates that he understands why he is apologizing. Mm -hmm. And she says that she would like to move forward with him. So they pinky promise that their heads will not turn Mm -hmm. if someone else comes in and that he wants her and only her. Mm. They watch their lights turn green and they share a kiss. They watch this turn green and they kiss. And I understand what Mm -hmm. Too Hot to Handle season six, I believe, is trying to do. I just don't feel it. Mm. They are trying to build this love story, this little Disney comeback story between Bree and Damari, and I don't get it. Yeah. I don't feel it. It's missing something, and maybe it's missing time. <laughs> maybe that's <laughs> what it is. I'm not connected. It's miss. I need more time with these exactly. people. Exactly. Like like mm-hmm. you, it, it, there's no build up. Right now we're climaxing, and and you didn't even give me like no back. Like this whole apologizing and over apologizing is what I'm not with. Right. Yeah. Because you over apologize when you're about to lose something that is of worth. Mm-hmm. Right. How did he possibly know how much Bree is worth and how much? How can Bree show how much she's worth in five episodes? Right. Right. So, like, for example, if something was to happen and I have and and like and I mess up my marriage, of course, I'm going to apologize. I'm going to humble myself. Mm. 
mm-hmm. and, and, and apologize as much as possible because I'm losing something that is of worth. It has proven itself to be of worth. All he did mm-hmm. was kiss a girl on a date and kept her in the banishment for an extra 30 minutes. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe 15. Who knows, right? right? And truth be told, he could have kept you there for, like, over 24 hours. They did say that. Right? Mm-hmm. So, like, what what is it about him outside of you getting your little feelings hurt that, that, that that's making you so stern and making you go, no, 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 no. And for him to be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My mama told me, I'm sorry. It's like, I, I, I'm not I'm not feeling a connection. Now, if I were to take a moment to s- suspend reality. Suspend it for me. And f- fully dive into the show and the timeline and that these people are where they say they are as far as their connections. Okay. Um, I think it does make a difference in an apology when someone explains to you why they're sorry, yeah. why you matter, and where they can see the relationship going. Mm-hmm. That makes you feel that they are apologetic. Just okay. somebody saying, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have kissed her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's different from somebody saying, like, I think I can really see a future with you. And um, the life that I want to live is not how I've been acting. Yeah. And kissing a girl on a date when I have a connection with you is not going to lead me to where I want to be. And that does show another level of vulnerability and openness I like that, that I feel like Brie could connect with and say, like, this is what is, is going to help me get past it. I like that. So, But the only thing I have a problem with that is, is that, hey, you're judging me harshly when you yourself haven't been tested. That is true. You're going at me for basically handling my test wrong, but you haven't, like, you haven't walked a mile in my shoes. Mm-hmm. And we're going to see next episode what she does, or if she does. You get what I'm saying? True. But it's the whole idea of, like, oh, you're basically just being harsh on me, but I was in a predicament that I, that it was hard. And unless you know how it is, it's like, okay, show me, show me a little grace. Right. So Lucy feels that Charlie and Catherine are parading in front of her face. Just a little bit. Uh, Charlie never said anything about Catherine and she's saying that they're holding hands and Lucy starts crying. It's all a little bit too much for her. Hey, Lucy, go home, girl. So Charlie and Catherine in their little area, they decide to kiss without the green light because they feel the connection. Mm. So and that's where we leave off. Listen here. I need you to subscribe, like, share all the above next episode. I like next episode. This episode was okay, but I think we go see Bree. How how you go? How how you gonna do when you're in the fire? Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like like my man Damari. He said this is the hottest girl I've ever seen in my life. Mm. That's what he said. Now we see that you like bad boys, so we go see how you deal with the bad boy. All right. We see y'all. Bye.